hello everyone once again uh, I'm back with another video this is my second video and uh, in this video I'm going to show you how to generate a random number in R uh, there are a few different ways in which you can generate random numbers uh, depending upon your requirement uh, so in this video I'm going to show you how to generate that uh, before we get started a little about myself I am a student in a master's program in data science in a famous US university and I'm creating these videos just to, uh, you know, enhance my own knowledge and in the process also helping you guys in learning some new things. So without any further delay, let's get started. Uh, so here our objective is to generate random numbers. Uh, by random number, what I mean is whenever you pick a number from say a sequence uh, it will be randomly picked so each and every number in that sequence has an equal chance of getting picked so there is no bias in picking the number and uh, the distribution that you will get will be purely random uh, so the first way that I'm going to show you is to pick a ram random number from a uniform distribution in order to do that what you do is create a variable say x1 and into that you input the output of the function r unif which is a random number generator from the uniform distribution from here you sample thousand values and with a minimum value of say zero and a maximum value of one so between zero and one it will give you thousand values randomly picked from that uh, interval so if you see x1 all these values are randomly picked if you plot x1 you'll see this random randomly distributed uniformly distributed random numbers uh, this is the uniform random numbers uh, this might be the uh, these might be the ones which you will use the most uh, another popular random number generator is our norm function so it will give you normally distributed random numbers so I'll show you what does it look like uh, so normal random numbers so uh, let's say normally distributed random numbers so the way you do it the way you do it is by using a r norm function so you do r norm sample thousand values again now this function needs different parameters so if you press tab you'll see what parameters you need to give so n you have already given as thousand mean you put in as zero and standard deviation as one so mean of zero and standard deviation of one is the standard normal distribution so from the standard normal distribution you'll get thousand numbers returned and stored in x2 now if you plot these x2s you'll see they are more clustered around the zero line and less away from the zero line so let me add the let me add a line at the zero point uh, by using a b line function press tab you need to uh, create a horizontal line so at zero point and maybe color is equal to red and line width maybe three so let's see so this is your zero line and you see all these values are more closer to zero most of the values and a few values are away from it so it's normally distributed another good way to see that it is normally distributed is if you add to this plot function a density calculator for these x2 so using dnorm and you press this you see this normal curve a popular bell shaped curve so this is the way you get uh, normally distributed random numbers another way uh, if you have if you want to generate random numbers from an integer sequence you can use a function called sample so let's try that uh, let's create a variable x3 in which you output uh, in which you put the values of the sample function so sample from 1 to 1000 how many values you want say 10 
so you get 10 values here you print them here as you can see down here in the console these 10 values are randomly selected from this sample uh, another good way is to sample I mean randomly select some values from a list so if you have a list of say example uh, companies and you have a vector of companies here Apple Samsung HTC and HP and Lenovo okay so we have five companies in here command enter and let's sample two random companies from this list so just use sample function input the list and see how many randomly picked values you want from this list so it will give me HTC and Samsung if I run it again it will give me Apple and HTC so every time you run it it will give you randomly selected values so use of random numbers is very important in statistical analysis as well as machine learning and this is a very basic step of uh, you know uh, getting random numbers uh, in R I hope you learned something from this video uh, if you think that I should continue making such videos, please do subscribe and comment on it if I have made any mistakes. I am just a student, so I might have made a few. Uh, so thank you for watching and see you in the next video. Cheers. Bye-bye.